was a lot of looks like you almost came to a stop twice yeah. from 300 to go to 200 to go can you yeah. just tell me what that was like annoying um frustrating but you do what you got to do when you want it that bad you got to figure out how to get to the front at any point after that were you worried you weren't going to get into the automatic i wouldn't say point? worried i literally mid-race almost was like <laughs> you know i mean once you get it's, it's different when it's physical but to happen a second time where I feel like the second time really was just like, okay, my momentum just kind of took a blow. I really had to mentally just get back in it, be like, you know, the race is still going, you still got a chance, you got to fight for it. And that's what I did. It seemed like the crowd got really loud when you started your, your kick there. Yeah, and that was all just me wanting to secure a spot in the semifinal. How far did you have to walk in the I mean, I think at this point we come back to right? <laughs> um, I mean, it was more of a mental challenge. That's something where I was like, I need to get to the front, top three, but to the front to secure my spot. So that was a me versus me situation. Yeah. Well, no, I know that's your trademark for late close, but I'm saying, like, do you think you're, were you like 100% on the hook straight, or do you have a little left for this? I feel like getting knocked out twice took more of a, like, momentum blow than actually trying to, like, finish this race in good standing. Yeah. yeah, so, I mean, when you talk about work hard, I feel like getting, it being so physical was the hardest part. All year, I used to ask you about like being on the tower, yeah. racing here. What's it like to just finally be yeah, here? <laughs> yeah, be here and hear that roar from the crowd when they announce your name. Yeah, everyone's been telling me how amazing it is. Even people that didn't go to Oregon, they're like, I actually feel like I went to Oregon based off of that. But I mean, it just goes. I feel like we're just so appreciative that like to have this much support coming from like Tokyo and Qatar. Now having this many, you know, this it be this loud on the home soil. Um, that's the umph that I feel like everyone was looking for in Tokyo, you know, that nationalism, that pride of just really basking in like that competitive nature. And so it's so much fun being out there competing and having everyone behind us. And definitely got goosebumps like that, like by that final straight. Yeah. Like, I was like, damn, they love her. Yeah, <laughs> I love them. We had a question about the bibs. Is yeah. there a timing thing inside the bibs? Is it is. They, they take it? it out. It's usually in this part, but uh, they take it out once we get off the track. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Raven. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Raven. One more.